so brittle is the surface, isn't it? I never realised that ending the world in my own hands was to be so devastating. I gaze up at the grey skies, but I do not expect rain. It never rains. It's not like there's anything that needs rain. This landscape is deserted, lifeless, dull. The buildings crumble if I so much lay a finger on them. Oh, but, but that isn't a surprise, is it? With the strength I have, I can bring cities to the ground. I have the power to cause terrible, terrible devastation. But do I use it? Did I use it? No, I did. All this power, wisdom and wonders I have, all bottled up inside. Nobody knew. I was always overlooked, the small one, who no one ever talked about, who always hid in my master's shadow. No, they didn't know. Only with one girl did I share my heart, but even she forgot me. Even she let me fade into nothing but memories. I was nothing to them, nothing to anyone. They underestimated me. They didn't think I was capable of doing anything. Oh. I will laugh at them now. If only my heart could begin to laugh. My chest is hollow with the soreness of a thousand deaths. But will anyone comfort me? No, they won't. No one will. No one will even care to glance at the one lonely soul. Do you know why? <laughs> Oh, of course you don't. Because you don't exist. You're just figments of my imagination. I'm the only living thing in this universe. I actually survive. Yay. The only one. <laughs> and I will never die. This pain will last all of eternity. All. And it will never end. I, the one who was always cast over. Never given the love a real person should. And the one survivor of the end of the universe brought about by my own master. The end of time and space. He caused it, yes. He destroyed everything. This black landscape, which now I roam. These tall towers which are tarred black. These are the remains of time and space that no longer exists. And I, though I am a time god, I cannot escape this. Why? 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 Because it is not an existing time. I cannot make my clock stick out of nothing and then make myself travel through a time which does not exist. There is nothing here anymore. I am the only thing here, and I will never die. There is no purpose for me anymore. I am left in a random array of objects and space that no longer exists. I know this is difficult for you to comprehend, but as a being of time itself, I am the only essence of time in this place. easily do I tire of these rolling black plains. It has been many years since I last saw any sign of life in this barren wasteland. So dark as the sky, isn't it? I wish so badly for the rain to fall or for the wind to blow to show that I am not the only moving form in this world. The end of time and space as I know it has come and gone. But it left me behind. All this power I had, this magic which I could have used to save the world, nothing, no matter how hard I tried, I could not save a single soul or thing. My friends always looked up to me, sought me for comfort and power. But now, I'm nothing.
nothing more than a poor, wandering traveller, travelling to an unknown destination. But there is no destination! Tower after tower, burnt tree after burnt tree! How could my friends now look upon me as though I am a saviour? But now, now it looks as though I am the destroyer. In this lifeless world, this blank existence, I am the one survivor of the end of the universe brought about by that foul creature. Never will I forget those horrid green scales, that shining black arm of the dark and bright day, those scarlet eyes which pierced the most innocent of hearts and drew blood from the fairest of skins. I thought I could fight, but my attempts were feeble. Is even he not dead? He must be. They're all dead. There is no purpose for me anymore. Would you know why? No, you wouldn't, would you? Because because you don't exist. Nobody does anymore. Well, nobody except mom. There's no use for me anymore. And yet, I'll never die. At times such as this, perhaps it would be wiser for me to take my own life too. I stayed with the plant and watched as it grew rooted and died. And the petals fell one by one, slowly unaided by the wind, as I too would be as colorless as the sky. And then I went in search, as you did, for many years, as you did. How did you survive so long without food or water? Are you a god? A god? Nay, I am no god. I am the enchantress, as is death. I use my magic to heal, to create things too. But as I have been here, it has grown as colorless as the sky. <laughs> I am a god of time, my friend. Perhaps together with our powers of time and space, we may recreate the universe. I wouldn't be so sure. God, besides, what is your name? Desiderio, my friend. Desiderio. And for what cause? There is hardly a need for living planet anymore. For us, as it is, need we the company of other human-like beings? Nay, I say, let me bring time forth so the seasons may come, and you may bring little critters and plants to the world. Apart, neither of us have power, but together we can make small things. Can we not? Hmm. 
I wouldn't be so sure, Desiderio. Oh. Well, as of death, names are no matter at this moment. We must get forward to bring you life to this planet, bring colour and joy. We must find your old rose, and use the essence from that to create another. And from that, yet another. I, I am not so sure of my magic and so are. Did you not see just now? Those sparkles from your hand. That was magic. Colourless, I huh? magic. Yes, as death. These grey skies would be no more, and we can make them blue once again. Think of it. We can do great things. Ooh, we could we could bring a town! And we could build a house for ourselves? Yes, and then we can make forests. And mountains so high they catch the snows of winter and shield the desert. Yes! And then the stars and the moon to guide our way. And the shining sun to brighten the day. Yes! We could bring others. We could make others. Oh, come quick. Maybe not get started. Why should we hurry? We have all of eternity. Yes. Oh. I, at a time such as this, perhaps it would be wise.